The Breakfast Crunch Wrap is truly an amazing creation. Let's do a little riff off of the Breakfast Crunch Wrap and do a little New York versus New Jersey rivalry. I've devised two versions of the Breakfast Crunch Wrap that really illustrate the type of breakfast sandwich you can get, whether you're in New York City, upstate New York, or New Jersey. They're both very similar, just a couple of minor substitutions. For the New York version, I knew it had to be either ham, sausage, or bacon, egg, and cheese. So what I actually went with in this case was homemade sausage, scrambled eggs, and cheddar cheese. I figured that gave a good sampling of everything we have that's great about New York between the city and upstate. What I have here is a nice three ounce patty with my breakfast sausage. You can click the link in the description down below and you can get that recipe for yourself. Like I said, to make a crunch wrap, other thing you need are these flour tortillas. I use two per, and I'm gonna explain that in just a second as well. You need some eggs, butter, and I got a nice piece of New York cheddar. The other thing that makes the crunch in the breakfast crunch wrap is actually a plank of hash brown potatoes. Now for this here, I don't do anything fancy. I don't try to make my own. I go to the freezer section of my grocery. Now when you read the instructions, it's gonna tell you 15 minutes on one side and 11 to 15 minutes on the other side. Put it in there for 20 minutes on each side. You really want this to get nice and crunchy because it's a crunch wrap. <laughs> I want you to rest assured, I'm gonna do New Jersey justice. I'm not still celebrating New York's win over the Sopranos. I mean, that's still up for debate, right? For the breakfast sausage, just take it, and there's enough fat in there. Put it on a slightly warm cast iron skillet and let that cook nice and slowly. What I like to happen is for the fat to render out nice and slowly, and then it kind of cooks as it goes. It's gonna get a nice crust as it gets nice and hot. While that's going, crack your eggs right into the bowl. A Little bit of salt, black pepper, whiz it up and that waits till the sausage is ready. You can see the sausage patty is starting to cook up nicely. You notice I started with a pretty wide disc of sausage. Well, not really a disc, it's a weird shape. The reason I did that, because it's gonna shrink and you actually notice it probably is a lot smaller than it was before. I want that to be approximately the same size as the hash brown. You know your sausage is ready for a flip when it releases easily and there we go. Here it comes, ready, flip. Look at that beautiful crust on there, a quick squish. Just let that cook up on the other side. Sausage is cooked on both sides, and like any good piece of meat, you want to take that out to rest for a few minutes. I'll just lay it on a plate. As far as the construction of a crunch wrap, you're basically making a breakfast burrito, but Taco Bell has this way that they fold a breakfast crunch wrap that I tried to accomplish in my last video. And I think the tortillas that I buy in the normal grocery store aren't exactly wide enough to get it exactly like Taco Bell. So I'm gonna actually utilize a trick that I learned on the Munchies channel. What she did was actually use a smaller tortilla on top and you can kind of fold one tortilla into the other. It's gonna make it a little bigger, but you know what? We got some bold flavors in here. I think we kind of need that. I'll leave a link to her video down below if you want to see that as well. Last thing to prepare for this New York crunch wrap is some scrambled eggs. I got some butter melting over in a non-stick and once these start to foam up a little bit, here we go. Now two eggs might make this a big boy, but you know what? We're hungry today. And literally the name of the game with scrambled eggs, just move it around. And notice I got a big cast iron skillet there, a little bit of cooking spray. Once I assemble it, we're gonna throw it right on there. I got the heat blasting on this. I'm gonna actually turn it down a little bit. Just another couple seconds here. I'm moving it around. I want some small curds. And now at the last second, I'm gonna bunch it up. This is kind of the same technique as my breakfast sandwich technique. Bunch it up to about the same shape as the hash brown. Let it cook into kind of a mass there. And what I want to do is, see if I can do it one-handed, just a final flip. Ah, Bruh. I'm just going to let the residual heat of the pan take it. So I'm going to take it off here, put it on not my countertop, and let's assemble a crunch wrap. So I have my big tortilla, I have my little tortilla to top it, got my scrambled eggs, and then the rest of my components. I got my crunch right there, hash brown potato, sausage patty, New York cheddar cheese. So I think I want the cheese on top. So what I'm gonna actually do is go on first with the egg because that is the most recently cooked thing here. We'll go for the crunch next. Sausage, cheese, and what I wanna do now is go on with my little crunch topper. And we wanna fold and we wanna make sure we seal it up. So there we go. It's working pretty well. I like this technique. And there. So we made this little like burrito thing and it's literally just about to fall apart. There's a little bit of fat in the tortilla that's gonna actually help this to griddle up. So what I'm gonna do is actually just put it right on the griddle right now. Seam side down. And the griddle is oiled up already. I'm gonna give it a nice press. Make sure all the edges touch the pan. Now I got my heat set to low here. I don't want it to burn. 
You can hear a little sizzle. That means it's working. The cheese melting is gonna help it stay together. Hopefully this gives us the result we want. Let's see what we got here. See if we can come in for a flip. Ah, uh, all right, well, let's see. Let's give that another minute on that side there and see if we can get it to seal together. Cause this is a pretty epic fail at this point. But regardless of what it looks like when it comes out, this thing is gonna taste amazing. Okay. So you can see it's kind of sealed up. It's a little ugly, but it's all going to the same place. So what we have directly touching the tortilla on the bottom is actually the egg. So I just want to get a little color on the other side. And yeah, it, it's just toasty enough. I'm actually going to move it to the cutting board. For the New Jersey version, I told you I wasn't going to let you guys down. I love New Jersey. I got to drive through New Jersey to get to Staten Island. I have family in New Jersey and I'm going to do it right. I made a couple of minor variations, fried eggs over medium, American cheese, and of course, you know we had to do it. Taylor ham. Now I don't really want to get into the debate Taylor ham pork roll. As far as I'm concerned if you use the Taylor brand you're using Taylor ham. Pork roll is just in general what it is. Taylor ham egg and cheese is actually a legendary breakfast sandwich that you get in New Jersey but I figured in a crunch wrap that has to be amazing right? There is one step that we have to do before we fry this up and it's actually critical. Critical but simple. All you do is take your Taylor ham pork roll whatever you want to call it and I'm gonna do three nice slices here. We gotta do the New Jersey one upright. Three slices. Now, if you don't do this step, what'll happen is it'll cup up as you fry it. So I'm gonna make like little slices. And if you've been following the channel for a while, early on did a Taylor ham, egg and cheese and we did the same thing. Don't look for that video, it's cringy. So I got my three slices of Taylor ham and we're just gonna throw it on a frying pan, no oil or anything, and just fry these up nice and crispy. In your hot pan, you can let these render out. I have this over like a medium high heat. And literally all you want to do is brown it up. This is about as much as you want to take them. Just get a nice little color on most of it. I'm going to actually move it to a little plate. Now I cut these a little deep. You don't need to cut them as deep as I did. Do as I say, not as I do. Now I have most of my items here. I just got to make some eggs. Just got a little butter in my pan. Go right in. Little S. Peppa. Break the yolk. I don't want this exploding all over when I bite into this crunch wrap. No offense. I got this heat cranked and I kind of want them a little separated. Let the butter seep in between them. You guys are getting a lot of value in this video. This is my how to cook an egg video as well. Look at that. Flip them. There we go. I want the eggs to be on the softer side. Let those cook and soak in the butter. And you could see around the edges. These are basically fully cooked at this point. Kill the heat. Move us on to not my counter and let's assemble a crunch wrap. Now again, I want the cheese on top. This one might be a little easy to manage. So what I'm gonna do is eggs, slightly overlap them. Beautiful. Then we'll go on with our crunch. Nice and crunchy, crispy Taylor ham. Space it out a little bit. Beautiful stuff here. That's gonna warm up nicely. Now I'm using white American cheese. This is Cooper's Sharp White American Cheese. It's amazing. So I'm actually gonna just stack it. It's very melty, so it'll melt into itself. I don't want the disaster I had with the New York version, so we'll go on this a little bit more gingerly. What do you think, we could do this or what? Timing is fleeting on this. All right, so there's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And five. Much better, I think. So let's go take it onto the skillet. Just still a little warm from before. I got that guy oiled up a little bit. It's kind of like a Superman crest. I think Taco Bell has like a signature number of folds. I wanna get these seams pressed down. As the cheese melts, I said that before, didn't I? Damn it. <laughs> Let that cook on the first side. All right, it's been a good three minutes. Let's see if we got a flipper, flipper dipper. There we go. Darn it. Let's go for another minute here. Man, I really screwed this up, didn't I? Don't rush like I do. Let's try this again. There we go, much better. Much better, but still a fail. I mean, it's close enough. <laughs> the thing is, Taco Bell actually has those presses that they can actually put these in so that they can ensure it's gonna stay down. I guess maybe I could have weighted it down with the cast iron. You live and you learn. You would think by now, making these for as long as I have, I'd be better at this technique, but you know what? Everybody can improve in their life somehow. <laughs> I think I know which one's which. I think this is New Jersey, this one's New York. I'm gonna cut into the New York one and that's the one we're gonna try first. Now 
Now, one thing you'll note about these crunch wraps is I didn't put any sauce on the inside. Taco Bell has that kind of tangy ranch that they put inside of their breakfast crunch wrap. For me, I figure I'm gonna put the sauce on the outside and for the New York version, you're gonna go with a basic hot sauce. You could do sriracha, you could do any hot sauce you want, but I figure here in New York, the thing that we put on breakfast sandwiches most often is hot sauce. All right, New York, don't let me down. Mm. Man, hot sauce was a good move on that. So it's basically like a nice sausage, egg and cheese sandwich. Like I said, we got the scrambled eggs in there, nice and softly scrambled. Cheddar cheese, you get that cheddar cheese right in your face. Mm. Let's see what New Jersey can do. There's no right way to do it. It smells incredible. Wow. And you can see those eggs are not completely cooked through. You got them nice over medium, nice and soft. Look at that stack of Taylor ham. All right, Jersey, don't let me down. I'm gonna taste it before I put the sauce I chose for this because I, I don't wanna do anything stupid. I wanna try it to see how it is first. Mmm, mmm, wow. Taylor ham is a cured meat, very much like a salami. It has like a nice funkiness to it. I really like how the clean flavor of the over medium egg and the kind of neutral flavor of American cheese doesn't fight against that Taylor ham. And then of course you got that crunch from the hash brown potato. Now I'm gonna do something stupid. So I figured on a breakfast sandwich like this, if you were to have this on a hard roll, a common thing people are gonna put on top of it is ketchup. So let's try that. We got this fancy ass ketchup that we buy here. I shook it up like a hundred times. If I get water on this, I'm gonna be so mad. Let's see. There we go. You know how the first squirt of ketchup is always water? I hate that. All right, let's try it. Despite what you might think at this point, I actually don't like ketchup on eggs. So let's see if it's any good. Not how I did it, but you do you. All right, now after all that, you're gonna wanna know, which is it? The New York version with sausage, scrambled egg, cheddar cheese inside of our tortilla with a nice little crunchy plank of hash browns in the middle, or the New Jersey version? Taylor ham, fried eggs, American cheese, same build. If I had Phil Leotardo or Tony Soprano standing over me telling me which one I had to pick, I don't know what I would tell them. I guess it would depend on which person it was. Both of these are really good. The breakfast sausage, I think, because I, that was kind of a thicker piece of meat, I taste a little bit more of that. And also I kind of like the scrambled eggs a little bit more. Maybe next time I make this, I'll do a little bit of a hybrid with the Taylor ham, scrambled eggs. But I do like the American cheese over the cheddar cheese. That's definitely one thing that's non-negotiable. So maybe between this whole experiment, we figured out what's the optimal breakfast sandwich or even breakfast crunch wrap. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit it with a like and subscribe if you like food. If you missed my original video, the Copycat Taco Bell breakfast crunch wrap. I'll leave that right here. I guess we're gonna try it again. New Jersey's really good, man. New York. Mm, I can't decide. <laughs>